Hello everyone, how are you doing today? This is Life Work in English with Olga and on this channel we are watching our favorite movies and listening to our favorite songs and at the same time also learning the vocabulary and grammar. Today with me I have my amazing colleague uh, who is Mr. Paul. Mr. Paul has chosen for us an amazing movie. Uh, I was so excited to watch it. It's uh, a new release just this month, July 2022 on Netflix with uh, one of the best actors of Hollywood. Adam Sandler. And, uh, Adam Sandler, yes. We all love this guy. Great man with uh, amazing actor skills and uh, just uh, amazing personality as well. We already did uh, one movie which is uh, Grown Ups oh, with uh, yeah. Adam Sandler but the vocabulary over there that we've learned with, uh, for adults 18 plus guys <laughs> if you'd like to check it um, you can go over there it's a super fun uh, video. In that movie Adam is uh, a bit younger here uh, he's already over his 50s but he's still great he's uh, still um, amazing and today we're gonna we're gonna see it, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, Paul, uh, tell me, uh, why have you chosen this movie? It just happened that a couple of days before, like, I, I saw the movie and uh, I thought it was a very good movie that it has a lot of uh, hidden values, hidden things that we can maybe talk about. So, okay. so I cho chose this movie. Okay, yeah, the movie is really uh, is really great. Uh, thank you for it. The movie about uh, basketball. It's a super popular game in the United States. Uh, uh, we all know NBA, NBA players, and we know uh, that a lot of guys, young um, boys, are dreaming to be in NBA, the part of uh, this game. They are doing uh, a lot of exercises, making a lot of efforts. Uh, in a lot of their dreams to be uh, there and what I love about this movie that the real real NBA yeah. players, yeah. Got the real players yes are there and I checked uh, online there are 25 Wow. NBA <laughs> players who More than are. Uh, can you imagine? Yes, that's super cool. The main actor didn't agree at the beginning to be the part of it because he's not an actor. The idea to shoot it was in uh, 2020. Adam Sandler gave his uh, script to the producers and uh, they were interested, but uh, the main actor, um, he said no. He said no, but only uh, after um, Corona hit. Uh, we all remember, still remember the quarantine and curfew times. And he was, you know, at home um, with his sister, I think. So with his family and uh, they uh, uh, told him we are bored. Let's play a game in the way we are shooting a movie. Okay. And they did it and they liked it and he agreed he was, to be... Uh, convinced to do the yes. story. Cool. Yes, I and the story. yes, that's uh, how it uh, went on and uh, I'm super grateful to that little sister <laughs> <laughs> who actually persuaded uh, the main character to do it because he did an amazing job over yeah. there. What I also liked about it, it's uh, the Spanish language over there. Yeah, because the, Yeah, because the main actor is the Spanish guy. Spanish language is my favorite language, apart from English, all right, <laughs> it's the second uh, favorite. I love to watch all the Spanish movies in the original language. <laughs> You're crispy today, cabron. <laughs> the longer I watch, the more words I catch, and it's easier every time. That's why, guys, always, always please watch the movies in the original language. If you're learning English, this is the best way, and it's a free way. You don't need to pay for it. You can enlarge your vocabulary uh, up to fluent level. And today, we are going to help you with this, right? Because uh, the movie is full of idioms, uh, American slang, uh, expressions, uh, sports vocabularies as well. And I hope that after this video you will watch this uh, movie uh, just just in a, in a very easy way.
Part 1. So, uh, what is the name of the movie? So, yeah, we haven't said <laughs> <that>. <laughs> We haven't even said, yeah? Well, so? The name of the movie is uh, Hustle. Hustle. Okay, what, what it means, Hustle? Hustle. Hustle means uh, when a person is trying to achieve something, he's trying to fight for it or to maybe bargain about the certain thing. You know, when I hear the word hustle, I remember uh, the movie The Millers, We Are The Millers, and there is yeah. the song, uh, every day I'm hustling, uh, every yeah. day I'm, I remember, the, it goes to my mind straight away. Hustling. Every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling. Hustle. Okay. So this is the act that we are doing super quick with okay. a lot of energy. It's also that you said to forcefully encourage someone to buy something. Yes, that's the example that you gave. Super energetic action that people uh, are doing uh, to achieve something. That's what we can see in basketball. English practice with the movie Hustle. Get the vocabulary definitions. Find the right meaning. Practice your listening. Have fun. That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna train how to guess the right meaning of uh, the words that we don't know. Taking me to see basketball or a cockfight. <laughs> we do everything. <laughs> it's an amazing <laughs> joke over here that the movie just starting with. Yeah. So just from the first phrase, guys, you can already <laughs> love the movie. So basically Adam Sandler comes to check the players. Yes, that's yeah. his job. Adam found a guy. He doesn't really like him, yes. but uh, his uh, management wants to try him. I see him in another team's jersey. I'm going to goddamn kill someone. Cool. Drafting us. Drafting. Draft. Usually, draft is uh, the when you're writing something on a piece of paper. Yes. Yes. yes but draft. here. But drafting here, it means he's not gonna take us. He doesn't want to try him even. Draft. The system by which sports teams in the U.S. choose new young players at the beginning of each season. You shouldn't have backed down to the way. Adam Sandler. In the end, he said, "Cool. cool. Okay, take it." So, what yeah. it means. You shouldn't have backed down. That means that there was this argument if they want this player or okay. not. Okay. And then when he backed down, that means that he decided to like get out of the argument and kind of agree to it, to say, okay, let's go with the, what the other person is saying. Yes, so okay. So he backed down, so he decided to step out of the argument. And to step to, out of the to argument. To agree with the other person. Okay, cool. Back down. Phrasal verb. To admit that you were wrong or that you have been defeated. Rex, you're right. I should have pushed back. When someone pushes you, it's yeah, push okay. back. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> not physically, yes. Yes, it's so to same push in back. the argument. It's to give maybe a counter argument or to argue more and to get more what you want. To push, uh, I should have pushed back more. It means, yes, to stand to your grounds. Yeah. Yes, to, yeah. um, to fight for your idea. So my brother's going to be taking over the team. You are bailing on us? You are bailing on us? Mm. Mm -hmm. What Means is to, be, uh, to bail on someone? To leave them or to let them go or uh, okay. to stop, like to... To stop doing something, to yeah. leave. Bail on, to leave in a rush before something is finished. I have one job, to maximize this team's chances of winning an NBA championship by any means necessary. Hell with the naysayers. Hell with the naysayers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so it's basically a combination, yes, of yeah. two words. Because we have the word say. Sayer, it means a person. And nay. So what, what is this? Who, who is the nay? <laughs> yeah, who is the nay? <laughs> you, know, you don't know the word, I, I, I believe. Word. Okay. Yeah. Naysayer. 
Someone who says something is not possible, is not good, or will fail. Nay means like no. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah. the person who says no to something. So he doesn't believe it's going to happen or okay. it will be effective. So if you are telling someone about your dream, for example, and he's saying, man, just give it up, it will not work, you can say, hell with you, a naysayer, yeah? <laughs> so it Isn't will it happen, it? yes, yeah. it will happen. You're valuable. Okay. As a coach, you're indispensable as a scout. So first of all, who is coach and who is scout? The coach is the guy who is uh, training the team, yes. who is giving the okay. strategies. Mm -hmm. And the scout? The scout is the guy who is looking for the good players and bringing them yes. back to the team. Yes, amazing. Good job. You are right. Okay, so what is the meaning of the word valuable? Valuable. Valuable, it means he is of good value, like he is important, he is... Uh, he has a strong value to the team. Diamond is a good value. So it's, it's, it has a okay, high so value. It's a money, yes. It's okay, a, okay it's a money. Value, by, yeah, by. It's, we talk okay. about money. And what about indispensable? Indispensable. It means uh, you cannot find someone else other than this guy. This guy is indispensable. So it means that this guy is good. irreplaceable. Great. Yes, this is the synonym to this word. Yes, irreplaceable. Indispensable. Something or someone is so good or important that you could not manage without it, him or her. He sends him back to his old job, yes, to look for the better players, uh, which uh, Adam Sandler uh, wasn't happy about because his dream was to be a coach. A coach. And uh, he agreed uh, to do it only because he promised him as soon as he finds the a better player. guy, yeah. yes, uh, he will go back uh, coaching. And that's uh, the moment when our adventures begin. Do you have a line in the film where you say guys in their 50s don't have dreams? You're, you're yeah. 55 now. I'm sort of curious how have your dreams changed? changed? So you just gonna give up on your dream? Give up on your dream. And he yeah, says... These don't have dreams. They have nightmares and eczema. Do you think uh, it's true? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, so I mean, he said it because he was upset, you yeah, know, disappointed yeah. that what was happening in his life. Oh, good question. Good question. Yeah. Yeah. When I was 25, I wanted to uh, be at the top of my game. At 55, I said, eh. yeah. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> no, no, no. I still work hard. You know what the dream is at my age? You want your kids happy. So I think, you know, when we grow up and we've already had our life career, so we want our kids to have the better chances, better life than us, and we want to give them the best. And I think, yes, to yeah, see your kids happy, yeah. this is the dream at this age, that's true. He ends up in Spain and he goes for breakfast with his colleague. I love their conversation. That's going to get me in trouble. So <laughs> there are a lot of beautiful ladies, yeah. yes. <laughs> so what it means how to understand it to get me in trouble? What is trouble first of all? Trouble is when there's a bad situation, there's something not good. Yes. To get in trouble. To be subject to punishment for a particular offense or to get into a bad or dangerous situation. One just one look. Just one look. Just one look. Teresa will <laughs> kick the shit. So he'll, uh, his wife, his wife, yes? yeah. his wife, he calls her T, yeah, short of Teresa. Uh, also, the ex this is the expression, the slang way to kick the shit or they say to kick crap, yes, out of someone, what it means. To, they will keep on hitting him until the shit will come out. Oh <laughs> like my <that>. god! <laughs> <laughs> okay, very, very uh, particular, very in detail <laughs> That's explanation. The, the, the exact. <laughs> Yes, the, the exact yeah. meaning. It means like she will uh, not be happy about it and then she will maybe make a drama, some scandal or give yeah. him yeah. a hard time about uh, this. One look, I 
I just, swear to God, I saw Victoria's Secret <laughs> mannequin. She was just, <laughs> and he was pissed off at me. Again, this is the expression. To be pissed, pissed off, off at someone. If the person doesn't like something, it gets him um, angry or mad. So to be pissed off at someone, meaning... To be angry. To be angry to be with, the, happy with the other person. Yes. Nobody says that. A guy like Ben, he wants to put his fingerprints on it. He wants to put his fingerprints on the team. Uh, that's also, you know, uh, an expression. A fingerprint is unique to yourself. So he wants the team to be unique only for him and he doesn't... The way he wants it. He doesn't it. want to share the decisions. Just think about more of a douche. Yeah, yeah, I know. I appreciate you looking out for Usually when someone is in a bad situation and another person is looking out for you, it means this person is checking Taking if care uh, or everything is okay, everything is uh, as well. Okay, yeah. The word look has so many expressions with yeah. it, yeah? So uh, this is one of them. So basically taking care of someone or, or just checking of checking up on how he is, yeah. of his well-being, yeah. yeah? You see one dialogue, so many expressions. Yeah, always, man. And do me favor. Please look at these titties. <laughs> 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 I'll take the blame. Look at the DDs, I'll take the blame. If anything happens, he it will be, be the why? one who did the wrong. Okay, thing. he will be the <laughs> one to blame. Yeah. Yes, so to take the blame, to be responsible, to take the, the responsibility for something that's happened. All right. <laughs> Those are my titties. Those are my titties. <laughs> okay, I love this conversation because Adam Sandler always makes fun uh, of himself. Is there a place around here I can shoot some hoop? So the in the in basketball the. The basket is a hoop. It's a hoop, so okay. Shoot some hoop, it's like throw the ball into the hoop, into the hole. Like so basically to play, to play basketball. basketball. In the video Grown Ups that we did, uh, also Adam Sandler is amazing, amazing in basketball. You love this game? I love basketball. That's how I close literally every one of my days. Well, I understand that it's his passion. He loves this game and uh, he loves to play as well. Uh, and I think to make the movie about basketball, it was his dream. He's the initiator. He, yeah. he was the one who made it happen. And um, I think this is just the dedication to his uh, dream and to his passion, which is, you know, very admirable, guys. So I believe if we all have our dreams, we need to, you know, keep on, keep on the, even though hustling he, until we get great. <laughs> yes, great example. Even though he cannot be a professional uh, basketball player, he doesn't have maybe enough height or enough skills or enough so whatever. But he can make a movie uh, about basketball, right? So that's uh, that's why I, yeah. I, uh, I hang yeah. around with more than twenty five <laughs> other players of uh, professional yeah. players. Yeah, he goes over there and. What the guy, so what the guys are doing, basically they are hustling because they are playing uh, the basketball for money. Which so, is an illegal way. Which is the illegal way. <laughs> <laughs> He's been running out of the bus. I haven't sprinted like that in 30 years. I haven't sprinted like that in 30 years. What he means? He hasn't run that much, like. That but time. yeah, but why he didn't use the word run? He used because, the word uh, sprint, so it means sprint means when you run really fast for a certain amount of time. So it's uh, sprint. Usually, it's for a short distance, and then you. Start. Great. Yes, you know the word. Amazing. Just waiting for my. To pop. Just waiting for my Achilles to pop. What he means over here? What is this Achilles? Why it's from the capital letter? What is going to pop over there? Achilles, I think it's the reference to the mythology, to 
Achilles heel. Right? Yes, yeah. yes, yes, you are right. So in the Greek mythology, uh, we have the story about Achilles. Yeah. Achilles. Yeah. So uh, he... Um, his weak point was his heel. When they dropped him in a... Uh, immunity water or something? Yes, so his mom, when he was a little infant, yes, the baby, she took him by the heel and put him all over into um, the some magic water that could protect him out of uh, from uh, everything but that point when she was holding the heel was not covered with water and that was his weak point and basically he died when the arrow got into his heel his Hill. So what he wants to say by this, just waiting for my Achilles to pop, it has nothing to do with his uh, heel. Achilles means a weak uh, weakness in your body. To pop means to appear. Just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> to appear my disease, uh, yeah, my old yeah. problems, yeah, with my body. Okay. I mean, I couldn't take my eyes off. Means uh, he really wants some, so he cannot like. Uh, he couldn't. When you see something and you really want it, you cannot take your eyes off. Yeah, them. he so couldn't stop looking. At looking, them. yes. So to take my eyes off of someone, it basically yes to stop looking. Uh, you remember the song? Beautiful, I cannot take yeah, my eyes yeah. off you. Yeah? <laughs> You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off you. Sometimes I hear the phrase or the word, I remember the songs. You know, they're yeah. just coming into my head straight away. That's why, guys, one of the best practices uh, to remember the vocabulary is to listen to the songs. Or not just listen, like uh, sing along within the songs. Learn the re- lyrics, understand the lyrics. And, and yes, just song. sing along. And then you will remember them all the time. Go on down there, get laced up. Stretch out a little bit. Go down and get laced, laced up. up. Places, we know that uh, it's shoe uh, laces, shoelaces yeah. that we uh, do the, our shoes, yes, but for the person how to to understand the, the expression. Yes, in, the, in this uh, scenario here, laced up, this means to put his shoes tight and to prepare his uh, uniform or to the uniform that he's going to play with. So to put his uh, basketball shoes, get laced up and start playing okay uh, not really no yeah so basically uh, uh, get laced up uh, here doesn't have has nothing to do with the laces oh, okay. that's why I wanted to focus on this expression it means in general to uh, when we are fi- uh, lacing up our shoes it means we are finishing our look yeah. yes so basically to get ready, ready. to yeah. get ready for something so get laced up Get ready. As simple as that. Nothing yeah. uh, difficult. Just get ready. We all know it's a very common uh, uh, expression, but when you say get laced up, it's a bit level up. Review, Review your, your knowledge. knowledge. Choose the right meaning to the vocabulary that we are learning. Get in trouble. Put fingerprints on something. Look out for someone. Hustle. Sprint. Get laced up. Play hoop. To get? To get into a problematic situation. Get in trouble. The next? Energetic action. Okay. Hustle. To play basketball in a casual way. Mm -hmm. Play hoop. To run as fast as you can over a short distance. Sprint. To be concerned about someone's well-being. Look out for someone. To get ready. Get laced up. To have huge influence on something. Mm -hmm. Put fingerprints on something. Take the blame. Back down. Take your eyes off of someone. Naysayer. Valuable. Bail on someone. Indispensable. To stop looking at someone or something. Take your eyes off of someone. To accept the responsibility or guilt. Take the blame. To leave in a rush before something is finished. Bail on someone. Something or someone irreplaceable of great importance. Indispensable. Someone who doesn't believe in success or possibility. 
naysayer, important, useful or beneficial, valuable, to admit your defeat, back down. That's been amazing. We did a lot today. Yeah. We learned a lot of new vocabulary. We, uh, guys, just let's practice it whenever we can. Let's not forget uh, what we gained. I hope um, it's been a great help for you with the vocabulary and with the movie. And I hope you're going to watch it and enjoy and understand it uh, in much more easier way.